Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Be Creative, Be Great. Today, we're actually gonna be talking about gimbals and how having the right tools is important when being creative. But before that, let's have a cup of Dunkin' Donuts. No way, not Dunkin' Donuts. Donut crazy. Mmm, this coffee's so good. And on top of that, their donuts are amazing. Let's get into it. For some time now, uh, we have a lot of people that talk about gimbals in the technology world as far as the film world and those in photography and all that other good stuff. They talk about gimbals. If you don't know what a gimbal is, I want to explain it to you. It's very simple. It's just an image stabilizer, right? So what it basically does, it stabilizes your image. It keeps it nice and steady. So when you're filming, you're recording, when you're moving, the motors itself, the stabilizers on the gimbal itself keeps your image nice and smooth. And, and when you're moving left to right, when you're panning, it just gives you that nice buttery, you know, uh, movement. Whereas if you record with your iPhone or with a camera by hand, you get that, that, that jumpy video footage. It's okay for certain instances, depending on what you're looking for, but if you want a smooth video, you want some smooth shots, you want some great B-roll, what you wanna do is have a nice, or invest in a nice gimbal. There's many types of gimbals, but today I wanna speak about mobile gimbals because with the, the cameras nowadays that are built into our mobile devices, our cell phones, they are amazing. These cameras are now built in with some high resolutions, 4K, 30 frames, 60 frames, slow motion at 120 frames. I'm talking about you have some great video uh, uh, cameras in your devices. Now, you know, you can have the iPhone 8 if you want to be on the latest. You can use your iPhone 6, iPhone 5, depending what it is, because I think from the iPhone 5 and the 5S and the Androids, the S6 and S7s, they already filmed in really high definition, 1080p, which is pretty decent for you for now. I'm not telling you you need to go ahead and, you know, buy an iPhone 8 or buy a Galaxy, you know, S8 or whatever the case is. No, that's not the, that's not the point here. But obviously, it's using what you do have, but just having the right tools to make what you wanna create a little better. So, with that being said, I have two gimbals that I wanna show you. Ones that I've personally have used, and I just wanted to give my insight, my review on it, so if you were ever to come across some gimbals and you're looking into purchase one, you have some insight as to what a gimbal is and how it looks and what it does, okay? So, right now, I was able to purchase two gimbals. The reason being was that I was doing my research, I was testing, you know, which one would be good for, you know, for mobile devices, and I came across this brand called Zium, right? Zium looks like a little guitar, like a little guitar case. Zium has a collection of gimbals. The ones I'm gonna be focusing on today are the Zenu Smooth Q and the Zenu Smooth 3. Now, they are pretty much, the only difference you can see is in the casing, it's, they pretty much the same, right? But they are slightly different in price and in build, and I mean build by structure, how they've been built. So, here, we have, let's start off with the Zhiyun Smooth Q. 
Now the Zeus Move Q, <clears throat> it's it's a little bulkier. It has it's it's made out of plastic, uh, um, some hard plastic. But this is this is how a gimbal looks, right? It has it's a three-axis gimbal, so it it has you know it has your ability to balance your your mobile devices, right? So it's motorized. So when you put your phone on here, it actually stabilizes itself, it calibrates, and it keeps it nice and steady. You can actually put your GoPro on here um, on the Smooth Q and your iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, 8, 8 Plus. It'll carry it. Now I've hear I've heard reviews. I've also used this with the 8 Plus and. The Smooth Q isn't well with handling the 8 Plus, so I had some footage done with a 6S, and it actually was able to um, manage it pretty well. Now, these gimbals, they also have weight limitations on how much weight can be placed on the gimbal itself, on the brackets here, on the axis itself. So this device right here doesn't do so well with stabilizing an iPhone 8 being that it's it's slightly heavier than an iPhone 6 and a 6s so I used the 6s and it actually worked pretty well I got some footage using the um, the smooth Q and as you can see I'm filming here with the smooth Q and it's actually pretty smooth I'm shooting at 1080 uh, high definition at 120 frames per second in slow motion and then I'm also doing 4k at 30 frames per second at, at standard it's not slow motion um, it's the the footage is great you know I'm, I'm running in in certain instances there you can see the the the, the trees or the, the wheat that I got footage of you can see the 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 car um, um, I'm coming I'm panning around the car so it, it's pretty it's pretty smooth in itself it's a it's a nice device and for the price is about hundred and forty bucks I believe you could get this in Best Buy now they're selling it in Best Buy you can get it there uh, the price is pretty reasonable um, but it depends on what you want to use it for right it, it all depends on, on on what you want to use it for um, it's it's pretty cool it has you know on a joystick here so you can pan you know up and down you can tilt it up and down you can pan left and right it has like three different modes uh, they both do they have you know the um, the zoom in they have the record buttons I don't know if you can see right there they have the record button they have the mode selection here and it's pretty much it it's pretty a simple a, a simple device right I did have some trouble now adjusting it because when when you get these devices you have to before you turn it on you have to basically level the device on the gimbal itself so on the smooth Q, it basically just has one area of of weight to adjust so basically the the gimbal operates on on sets of weights to basically keep it nice and leveled and balanced now this smooth Q only has one weight balance so when I was trying to put the iPhone on here the iPhone 6 it was it wasn't doing the trick for me it took me a little while to 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 adjust it and then it, it just only has one one basically area to adjust here so if you can see here this is to adjust the length here as far as you know which phone you have but then I came across this this is not good this is not good so if you have a if you have a bigger phone it's it's not gonna really work well for you if you want to do some some like a portrait shot it's not gonna it's not gonna work well iPhone 5 it works they say it works with the GoPro I've seen mixed reviews on it you can do some research on it itself some people say that the GoPro they have seen it like 
popped out unless you have like another mechanism here, some type of concoction that you can create to, to hold the, the GoPro. Um, but then again, this thing right here, it was, it was messing me up. When you have it set, right? So I adjust it here. So you have your, your wheel mount right here, your weight. You can see it right here. This is your weight. You tighten it up. Now, now this is pretty good, right? So if you have a GoPro, you have an iPhone six, it should it should work pretty um, pretty decent. Tighten it up, and it pretty much balances itself, right? So you power it on, and boom, there it goes. It's nice and balanced. So this is if I were, if I had a GoPro, right? So right here doesn't have a phone on it but you you get you get what i'm saying it's a, it's a, it's motorized so it keeps it now nice and steady so when you move like i showed you before in the footage you'll see how it how it operates right so i'm going to turn this off and this is pretty much the gimbal smooth q um these devices i purchased them myself um Zayun, they did not send me these devices so this is my own personal opinion. This is my own review on the devices that I have purchased myself and just giving you some, some information, okay? So let's, let's uh, get on to the next one, which is the Smooth 3. Zion, it's from the same brand. Um, it's a three axis image stabilizer, as I've said earlier, but let's open it up. It's gonna be slightly, well, to me, it's it's the one I like personally, and the one I'm gonna stay with, and and use for my mobile devices. So now we have here the Smooth Three. Now you can see as in structure, it's built different, right? We're talking about aluminum instead of plastic, so it's pretty sturdy. Um, here we have instead of one weight to balance, we have two weights to balance. So now it can hold slightly heavier devices like an eight or eight plus. And maybe if you have a case on there, depending on how big the case is, it would be able to hold the case. Now this one does hold the GoPro pretty nicely slug, uh, snugged. Um, I said slugged, what is that? Um, nicely snugged in here. So you, we won't have that issue with the GoPro maybe popping out depending on, on what type of action movements you're doing. But here we have the, the Smooth 3. It has the same pretty pretty much the same uh, um, buttons. It has the mode button. It has your, your uh, uh, power off, power on. Um, it has your button if you tap it once to take photos. Now the construction of this device is, is awesome. It's sturdy. It, it has a little weight to it, but that's good because it'll help with keeping uh, your image a little more steadier. Um, again, the issue uh, the, with the issue we were having with the Smooth Q was that when we were balancing it, right, I was able to extend it down and we were hitting basically the base of the, of the handle. Now with this one, I can basically extend the arm when I'm adjusting here the, the weights and I can pretty much put it almost all the way down, tighten it, and still have the movements here. You know what I mean? I still have, I can still swivel it. Whereas in the Smooth Q, I wasn't having um, that issue. I was basically hitting the handle itself. So when you're hitting the handle there, it was, you, you weren't gonna be able to do any like type of portrait, you know, movements with it. Whereas with the Smooth Q, with the Smooth 3, sorry, you're you're able to. So, and then you can you can adjust it. It has like a little, it has little meters, it has little meters here, on here. It has basically some, some uh, level lines. So if you're adjusting it and you have, you're using, you know, the iPhone 8, you already know how to mark it and just adjust it right away. So at that, your setup can be quicker um, then it has a weight in in the middle here this piece here you can uh, adjust it once you set up the phone the center of it is a weight 
that once you have the phone on, you basically can adjust the sensor weight, which is pretty good. So like that, you get a even a better stabilization on your phone. So it has the same devices. They're they're all battery operated, right? You can charge has two USB ports, micro USB ports. The the Smooth 3 has almost a wheel for your zooming in and your zooming out. The Smooth Q is just basically a dial button that just up and down to zoom in and out. You can twist this out here. Has a, a 4600 milliamp battery, rechargeable, so you can change it, you can replace it. It's kind of it's, it's kind of cool, right? It also has your quarter inch on the bottom. So if you have a um, selfie stick or you have a, you can put it on a tripod and get, you know, further up if you want to. I don't, I don't really use that. I just keep it really simple. But so this is the, the Smooth 3. I love the construction. I love the, the, um, the, the weight on it that it has. I love the way it stabilizes the, the phone especially the iPhone 8, which is what I have. But in the video footage that I'm, that I'm uh, recording, as you can see right now, is an iPhone 6 is what I'm shooting with. The iPhone 6S Plus um, HD high definition, right? 1080p at 120 frames per second slow-mo. And then I'm also filming 4K at 30 frames per second. You will see it here in, in, in the panning and the movements of the device itself, the two different uh, uh, devices, as I showed you with the Smooth, uh, the smooth Q uh, previously. So the devices are pretty cool. Also, um, another thing about the Zion is they also have an application. It's an application that you can download on your iPhones, your Android devices, um, actually, I'm not sure if, if the Android devices support the, um, the application, but you can correct me if, if I'm wrong. Um, but the application is definitely available on the iPhone and the application it's, it's okay. It'll give you some, I guess, more adjustments on the phone itself. As I said, you don't need to use the application to use the devices, to use these gimbals but they do have some extra features as far as uh, calibration of the motors, um, how quickly the motors will move, how smoothly you'll move, if you want it uh, slower, you want it quicker, um, the, the panning and all that other good stuff. It has, they, they do have a lot of features in there. Um, I found it a little bit difficult to, to manage with the, the, the application in itself with certain things that I wanted to do, um, but to get straight to the point, to start filming using the device, uh, using your mobile device, you can start right off, you know, use your normal uh, iPhone cameras or Samsung cameras, you know, just hit record and start working on there. As far as functionality, you won't get all the, um, uh, the buttons activated when you're using your, your iPhone camera app. So as far as the, the, the different um, the, the, the recording and the taking the photos button, it's not going to work for you. So you would have to basically start your, your, um, your video on the phone, just hit the record and then go from there. But then again, you can mess around with the application. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's available on the app store. All these things, I'm going to have it listed for you below on the description as far as like where you can buy it. Um, and the application link as well if you have an iPhone and where you can download it from. These gimbals are awesome. Do your own research, look them up, see which one is gonna work best for you. You know, you wanna make sure that you have the right tools when you're doing your, your, your projects, whether it be video, whether it be photography, and sometimes you don't gotta go the higher end route, but just having the device that works best for you. In my case, the Smooth Q wasn't really working for me because I have the iPhone 8 and, you know, I want to be able to, to shoot at, at 4K 60 frames per second. I want to be able to do slow-mo at 1080 240 frames per second. The 6S wasn't going to be able to give me that. Um, so, 
you know, I, I had to go with the smooth three as far as the balancing was concerned. It was able to, to hold my, my phone even with a case. Um, so this thing is, is pretty great. Look them up. You can buy them at B&H, Best Buy. I believe this device itself, you can buy it at uh, B&H. Best Buy doesn't sell the Smooth uh, 3. The Smooth 3 would be considered more of, uh, of the more of the professional side of, of the gimbal. Um, the Smooth Q is in Best Buy. You can you can pick that one up uh, and just mess around with it. See see how you feel with it. If it works for you, great. Use it. It's a it's a great tool. The gimbals are great tools um, for for doing video. So this was my review here. As I said, Zion did not pay me to speak about their devices. These are devices that I purchased myself to just give review and give you some tips as promised and be creative, be great. We wanna be able to help you, give you some tools, give you some tips, do a little review on some devices that are pretty useful, um, that aren't that pricey depending on, on, on what you have and what you wanna use it for. Uh, the Zion goes for 100, the, the Zion Smooth Q goes for 140 bucks. The Zion Smooth 3 goes for 250 bucks. Slightly higher, but you get a slightly better uh, construction, a slightly better build of a device. And as I said before, they do have weight limitations. So depending on what devices you have, that's the gimbal you will go with. So again, thank you for watching another episode of Be Creative. And stay tuned for others to come. And remember, never settle with being good when you have been meant to be great. Later.